know, we put in some ways an asterisk about industry award shows. I include the Oscars and the Emmys um, because obviously there have historically been issues of exclusion and elitism, particularly when it comes to, you know, race and ethnicity and sexuality as well. Uh, this year is interesting and there are some notable um, nominees. For example, in the comedy series, category, we have a really refreshing, wonderful show by Quentin Brunson, um, the Abbott Elementary show, which is to me one of the was one of the the freshest shows, um, shows to be excited about, right, this past season. And that's nominated. And then you have some main mainstays like RuPaul's Drag Race, which is nominated and Quentin Brunson's um, is also nominated for uh, Best Actress. Atlanta has a nomination. Um, Zendaya, of course, has a nomination for Euphoria. I mean, these are all, you know, you know, wonderful things to see when we see sort of a, um, you know, a diverse sort of class of actresses, especially women of color, being nominated for in in for these exclusive categories in the Emmys. I mean, the best actress in a comedy series and a dramatic series. You know, I think sometimes we still see some some of these notable gaps, um, particularly in categories like the dramatic series category often, um, sometimes. Um, we not, have not had, have we? There's only been still these sort of one, two sort of counts that we're doing for best actress, though, in a comedy or dramatic series for a Black actress win. These are still sort of anomalies, if you will, in the Emmy landscape. So hopefully, you know, as we have seen, you know, um, the Abbott Elementary and before that with Issa Rae and Insecure and um, Shonda Rhimes, there is a, a breaking down of that invisibility, hopefully. And so we can sort of erase this case that often happens in Hollywood and in um, when it comes to award shows <laughs> where you either have the exclusion of black actresses and other actresses of color completely, or you sort of have these sort of exceptions every now and again. And sometimes it's a case of they're always sort of the bridesmaid, never the bride, meaning best supporting actress nominee, maybe, <laughs> but not best actress. So. You know, I think we can be hopeful, but I also think that on the one hand, we have to sort of consider award shows as they are. They are historically representative of the industry and its issues with race and gender. Um, at the same time, they remain exciting. They remain, I think, very important in terms of entertainers' careers. So important to support the writers the creative storytellers who are the ones that are going to come out and they're going to be trying to tell still alternative stories to challenge the historical landscape of invisibility of distortion when it comes to black representation so i think about those things as a creative myself when i'm writing whether it's working on the novel or working on a screenplay or teaching it in class that it is really essential to understand the power of storytelling, but also the power of sharing, having avenues through which to share the work out beyond just our community.